In this demo, we will show various VCPE deployment scenarios using RAD's VCPE toolbox. We will see a few of the choices that are available for a multi-branch business customer. In this scenario, some branches are connected to HQ via public internet and some over a service assured connection. In each branch, we will implement a different flavor of VCPE. Let's begin with the Universal CPE or UCPE deployed in branch 1. A DTX 2V white box hosts an SD-WAN virtualized network function. It can be service chained to any VNF. In this case, we chose Windows Server for local IT applications. The VCPE OS manages the physical resources of the device, creates the logical links to the virtualization layer, and implements any desired model for the service chain. It also ensures high service availability by maintaining two standby links to the network, an Ethernet WAN connection and an LTE uplink. Any WAN service can be used. In this case, we chose Versa Networks SD-WAN, and here we can see the service in the branch as seen by the Versa director. Next, we move to branch 2, in which a third-party x86 server is deployed in a location that is served only by legacy connections. We use RAD's pluggable PNFs to carry customer data over T1 or E1 links. The vAccess VNF seamlessly manages the devices and handles traffic delivery. In our third use case, we see an example of a small branch, which requires simple and secure connectivity. This branch will be better served by a thin CPE, for which we use the ETX2V again. It hosts only local IT applications, such as point-of-sale services. The VCPE OS creates redundant IPsec tunnels to headquarters. This allows secure connection of the branch to the centralized networking resources at HQ. The last branch in this demo is connected over carrier Ethernet. The ETX2i White Box Plus hosts a firewall VNF and integrates a powerful MID to support a complete MEF Carrier Ethernet 2.0 service. For this deployment, we can run Y1564 service activation tests. Then, we continuously monitor the underlay transport with TWAMP or Y1731 protocols to ensure SLA compliance. An important part of the VCPE toolbox is the RadView Management and Orchestration System, which manages the NFV infrastructure and VNF lifecycle. RadView allows users to create and manage any desired service. It handles VNF onboarding, service and network design and deployment, and ongoing monitoring. RAD's VCPE toolbox is a complete and versatile solution for the customer edge. It enables optimized and open VCPE deployment with high availability over any access using any hardware. For more information on RAD's VCPE toolbox, visit rad.com.